uh, as we know, Ciorius has become an endemic uh, pathogen in our uh, community. Pathogen basically mean be, being a bug. Uh, we've been on this journey since I remember May of 2022 when we had both the Southern Nevada Health District and the CDC identify this new organism and how it was spreading throughout the country. They actually came here to Sunrise to work with us uh, as being the largest acute care facility in Nevada and having the at-risk population, we were I, I, I identified as an opportunity for CDC to learn, and we have been on that journey for two years now. There's a, you know, a history of high numbers from Sunrise. Would you like to address the situation with the higher numbers at Sunrise as compared to other acute care facilities? Oh, absolutely. I would, I would like to put that in perspective. And again, when you think about Sunrise, Sunrise is 834 bed hospital, largest acute care facility. We draw from uh, the entire state. We draw from the Western Arizona. We draw critically ill patients, immunocompromised patients, young patients. And what we know is that is the at-risk population when you think about Cioris. Cioris is endemic in our community. If you're healthy, you won't even know, it won't bother you at all, but you could be colonized as you mentioned earlier. However, if you're one of those unfortunate immunocompromised or critically ill patients, you are at risk. And those patients you see here at Sunrise. Looking at the numbers, uh, the latest report that I've been able to get from the state shows, uh, let's, let's talk about the clinical cases. Uh, a total of 428 cases historically at Sunrise which is not quite three times as, as many cases as the second place facility, which is Valley. So to have higher numbers of both clinical and uh, colonization absolutely does not surprise us. Our goal is to identify you, protect you, treat you, and make sure that we are at the forefront of preventing the spread of C. aureus in our facility, in our community. What, what scares me most, and the same with, remember when the COVID outbreak, is patients afraid to come to the hospital. If you're sick and you need a facility, do not let the Seorius know that we go above and beyond the normal CDC recommendations in terminal cleaning with our advanced purification systems. So our goal is to be here for you, our community, if you need us, do not hesitate to come to the facility or come to Sunrise. Do you have a sense that maybe... Maybe Sunrise is doing a lot more testing than the other acute care facilities in, in the state. Oh, absolutely. I think that you, you that is exact point that we want to make is that we here at Sunrise, we are not only identifying those individuals that are clinically affected, but any patient that has a, that is a burn patient, we know those are high risk patients. We screen them. Anyone 18 and older with a wound. And we have many, many patients in our community, in our service area with wounds. Uh, and those patients are all screened. Any patient coming from a post acute care facility, because we know early on that those are very high risk patients, we screen those patients. Patients coming in from shelter or unhoused, we screen those patients. So we are screening many, many patients so that we can identify them, isolate them, appropriately care for them, and protect everyone else in our facility. Catheters are only a small portion of it. Where we see the greatest risk to the patients in our community are those with wounds, open wounds, similar. If you think about MRSA, how it was 20 years ago and it, it was in the skin causing many, many infections. Uh, C. aureus is kind of following that same type of um, uh, distribution. We have really focused on our uh, high level disinfection practices, our isolation practices. And in fact, th this week we started expanding our uh, what we call air purification system through dihydrogen peroxide through more units in our hospital, so that which will help improve the environmental exposure risk. And as another layer on top of already our due diligence, uh, due diligence on terminal cleaning, isolation, identification. So it's an entire programmatic approach to taking care of patients with C. aureus and those around them.